Okay. How beautiful some of these messages. Really cool to celebrate one year of being on air with you, South Africa. Very, very happy birthday to you as well for being part of the Afternoon Express family for the last year. Such cool messages, don't you think? Absolutely amazing. <sighs> So heartwarming. Okay, this food is also looking delicious, by the way, so I can now get into the cooking stuff on the show. We're making something so absolutely amazing for, for Mother's Day so we far. We're trying new and different types of ingredients, so if you are one of those people who hates experimenting in the kitchen, today we're going to show you how to experiment with a lot of fun, and that's not going to break the bank, too. No, cool. absolutely not. And you know what? This might be for Mother's Day, but this is actually for the guys, mm. to get the guys in the kitchen. Okay. That's why we are. Why, what's the, the difference between getting guys in the kitchen and girls in the kitchen? Because the guys need to be making these for their moms, Ah, for their wives, I see. you know, Granny? the Granny. method behind my madness. Okay. Okay, cool. So we're going to start off by... Can you just tell us what we're making first before you, like, start rushing oh, totally. into it? But you know what? Okay, let's just do it. Okay, all in the pan. So we're going to start off by, we're going to do a truffle pasta dish. Mm -hmm. Super simple, like the, like a few ingredients. And we're going to serve that with some seared salmon. Yummy. Originally, I was going to do some seared mackerel. Mm -hmm. But we ended up with salmon instead. And that's actually good because... When it comes to fish, if you can't find what you were looking for, always go for a sustainable option yes. and one that'll pay well with your dish. Okay, so cool. if you're looking for mackerel and you can't find it, don't stress. It's and to all be good. honest, the salmon's also got a, like a black and gray skin on the outside. It'll per pair perfectly with your with your, oh, pasta, your cuttlefish Look pasta that, that you got. Visual. You've got to think about the visuals as well <laughs> as the taste, Clem. You taught me that. I did, I did. And you've been taking notes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. <laughs> so salmon, and I also taught you when you do when you're cooking fish, What's skin my... first. Oh my goodness. Skin down first so that you seal all the flavor in of the skin so that it doesn't separate, if I'm not mistaken, or something and like that. And just because it goes crispy, nice and delicious. Oh, and are you cooking for your mom? Same reason. Day? I'm, Mother and I don't live in the same province, which is actually really sad. So I'm not okay. going to be able to see my mom for Mother's Day. And I'm also going to be away on a conference uh, over Mother's Day. But yes, I will send yes, her love same. on the phone. XOXO. Macarons travel very well, Danilo. I did. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Better so, get on that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so macar the macarons in the pan. No. <laughs> Salmon's in the pan, skin side down. And we're going to let that cook for about a minute and turn it over. Mm. Cook the other side. So I'm going to cook on the other side, on the other plate. We're going to bring in our big pan. And we're going to talk about this guy over here. Cool. The which truffle. Which is our truffle paste. Which it makes everyone go, ah! First of all, because of the price, but second of all, because it's such a difficult and subtle thing to be cooking with. And a lot of restaurants I've seen in Cape Town mm -hmm. are doing this really cool thing where they're cooking uh, with their, their fries. Instead of using normal oil, they use truffle oil for their fries. So it is the hot ingredient on the shelves at the moment. And I'd really be keen to see how you're going to use it today so that we can at least know one recipe on how to use it. It's got such a unique flavor. And once you actually boss out to work with it, you'll be like a pro. Cool. So the trick is a little bit goes a long way. You can kill a dish. Totally. By adding too much truffle. Mm. It's got such a unique flavor, so totally. unique smell. And all kind of mushrooms, I think, in some way, are going to make you feel sick if you have too much of it. Because it's really got a strong smell, it's got a strong flavor. You put too much of that, you're almost going to feel ill. So exactly. enjoy your food. So I love this one. This is the one that I got at Woolies. This is a truffle cream. It's a mixture of the truffle oh, and a little bit of mushroom. I see. And what happens is it doesn't you don't break the bank when you buy this guy. Cool. And it's got all that amazing flavor in there. So I'm just gonna let the butter and the olive oil melt into each other. Cool. So I'm gonna while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk about our other exotic ingredient. Can you, you can hold it up while I flip the salmon over quickly. Is this the exotic ingredient? Yeah, so Old you pasta. know what that is. Mm -hmm. So and I have always thought, when I first walked into this kitchen, I saw this cooking, I honestly thought that it was a typical squid inked pasta. Yeah. You've used cuttlefish instead. It comes with, this is a, the product I've already bought. So I bought this from Willie's, which is their black pasta. Uh -huh. And it's using, it uses cuttlefish instead of the squid egg. Okay. And I found that it actually doesn't have that strong irony flavor, that no. briny flavor you normally would get it. It's such a subtle flavor. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure it almost tastes exactly the same like a normal pasta. It does. Mind if I still and I know want... you're going to try it. Mm. 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 It doesn't have any different flavor to it, but it does have a slightly different texture, which yeah. I like. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, cool. So, truffle paste goes into the our pan. butter and our olive oil. And I'm just going to toss in our pasta that's already been cooked. Cool. And that's obviously normal boil. It doesn't take extra long to cook this. No, because it's already understand. been cooked. So, I just want to get that sauce through. Amazing. So, Danny, if I can ask Ooh, you, yummy. could you um, toss some parsley? You want to chop some parsley up for me? Oh, I can do that, yes. And what we're going to do is literally, believe it or not, that's the dish. Done. It's the parsley tossed through our pasta before we serve it all up. The okay. salmon's done, because you never want to overcook salmon. Totally, so you're you searing it on the side, and so the parsley, I guess, is to add that freshness to the sort of dark flavors that you got in there. You've got your salmon, which is also, I mean, well, the truffle is quite a rich flavor. So this and will cool it down slightly. Look at that, we're serving it on a white plate, so you can see how dramatic. Go put this on top. Sprinkle, go crazy. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I like that you Don't used your knife. I'm just going to tear it up, because I was expecting a lot more parsley. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then next... Be specific, Clem, be specific. Okay, now I'm, I don't oh, know about you, but I'm impressed. We just put this together in, in record time. In literally record time. 
So it's one of those dishes that you, we can literally say cook along with us in Afternoon Express because you can basically pretty much do that. If you want to find the recipe and the shopping list in the meantime, it's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. Later on in the show, however, we're going to be making something so delicious, it's going to be for our dessert. We're making little medallions that we're going to be putting rose petals on. So if you've ever eaten rose petals, we'll show you how later on Afternoon Express. Over to you, Ginny. And right now, it's time for us to get back into our cooking in the kitchen. And Clem is making us something so delicious. Earlier on, we cooked with uh, something I've never cooked with before, which is truffle. Mm -hmm. um, and this time, we're going to be going into towards desserts. And I see that you mentioned we're going to be cooking roses. Because you're not going to be giving them. You're going to be eating them. Yeah. Cool. It sounds a bit weird. It sounds very strange. But so. I mean, I'm keen to try. OK, well, let me, before we cracking on the roses, let me tell you what I'm doing on the okay. stove over here. Mm -hmm. We're going to be melting some chocolate. So we had so many people asking us, what do we mean when we say double boil? Yes. So, I'm explaining it now. So it's a little bit, it's a pot, with a little bit of water simmering at the bottom, as you can see over there, it's bubbling away, and it's just chocolate in a glass bowl over that. So the water okay. does not touch the bowl, and the chocolate just gradually starts melting. Ah. Another Great. way you can do that is obviously with another pot on top of another pot kind of thing, one that fits inside with the handles pots on over pots. there. Yeah, pots and pots. So, um, I've already melted your white chocolate. Ah. I'm going to ask you to start doing little medallion sizes, little coin sizes. Okay. Just straight into the paper. So, cool. Maybe the five rand coin or way. the two rand coin? You, you know what five <laughs> rand? It's for mom. It's for mom. So okay. what I've done is with the roses is I've taken the roses. Yep. Don't freak out now. And I've destroyed them. <gasps> taken all the petals so out. So you do the he loves, she loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not, she, she loves, loves me. me. Always. Okay. Always. Okay. <laughs> so I've taken the petals off, put them on Yikes. a baking tray and pop them in the oven at 70 degrees or 80 degrees, just as low as your oven can go. Okay. And it's about half an hour and they dry out. Ah. And it turned out to be this. Well, like little like veggie chips. Like you had veggie chips, now we've got rose petal yeah. chips. I'm just How saying, do they taste, by the way? Are they like, are they um, yummy or are they think, a bit Think rose syrup. I don't okay. Rose syrup is sweet. Okay, but it's got that essence. But can I just say, please don't go raiding your granny's potpourri selection. <laughs> okay, Danilo? <laughs> no. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as you're going to keep on going, I'm going to let this keep on melting over here. It's nearly <laughs> melted. I'm going to start decorating or gilding them with our Rose oh, the ones that I've already done, okay. Because, I mean, roses are edible. You know that, right? Mm. Yes, Did I, didn't, I didn't know that they were edible, to be honest. I, I had no idea. Well, now you know. And the rest of South Africa knows as well. Roses are completely edible. Cool. Just add a bit of that little rosy flavour. Just make sure that you're getting roses that is coming from a place that oh. you know. Do you, do, I'm not, and it might sound like a stupid question, but did you rinse your roses before you put them in the oven, or does the heat just kill everything anyway? It, it does. But they're probably granules of things, or like, once if a bee left his doo-doo on your, like, rose petal? Do you not want to be one with nature? Well, not like that. I don't think, I think anything else but that. <laughs> okay, so I got my roses from Willie's, and I know that they haven't been like sprayed to death okay, with good, pesticides, yeah. and so they, it's good, and it's edible. Mm -hmm. I so, don't know, and you can get nice colors as well. So I see the colors removed itself from the actual rose, which well, is awesome. Well, you still got a bit, and you'll see just now, I'll show you ones that I use a darker rose. Yes, And oh, cool. the color actually stayed. So what I've done is, it's the rose that's gone, and then mm -hmm. it's some pistachios. It's very Middle Eastern right now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so, Sounds like it, yeah. And just to bring some citrus through, just a bit, what, what's this? It's a mandarin. I thought you it's knew it's a clementine. Clementine, like, oh, Clem ah, clementine, clementine, clementine. And what I'm, is the difference between a mandarin, a clementine, and an orange or a notch? It's just different members of the family. But like, are they grown different? Just a different seed? Do they I, taste different? Are they? Yeah, actually, you know, notch is so unique to South Africa. It's got that. Oh. I mean, how do you even describe a notch? It's even sweeter. I think the there mandarins and the clementines are slightly more sour. Zesty. And they're coming into like season perfect now, so oh, they taste so good. I mean, you can smell it. Mm. And just a bit of zest over the chocolate. That's looking awesome. Oh, man, so it's pistachios, so citrus. They got that, that mandarin, or you can use mandarin, sorry, clementine. You can use mandarin, mm. grapefruit, orange, even okay. lemon. And then I'm going to do a little smoked salt just to be fancy. Smoked salt? Here we go. Never heard of that in my life. So you can eat it, you can like, let it sit in the fridge, give it to mom. Or you can package it and then give it as a birth as a mother's wow, day gift. And you can so see cool. there's one with the darker um, darker rose petal leaf. Wow, and it looks so pretty too. And obviously you can say to your mom that mom, I made the dollar or I made the whatever you call it. I'm bringing in a coin and it's not actually money. And then she'll be like, oh my gosh, but it's chocolate. I love it as much. Go get the recipe <laughs> from our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. There you can also find the shopping list for these delicious recipes. Everything you make on the show is available on that website. It is such a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the kitchen and all the different recipes we make on Afternoon Express. So make sure you head over there as soon as possible. Down Download and get making, sending us as many photos as you can. It's time for us to begin that important discussion we need to have on the couch. Is breastfeeding okay? How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.